Lise, thank you very much for joining us uh, and nice to see you virtually on the screen. We're getting very excited because the Beijing Winter Olympics and Paralympics are coming very, very soon, fast approaching. And next week, we'll actually see 100 days to go for the uh, the Games out in Beijing. So I was just curious, was that even on your radar in Sochi and Pyeongchang um, as you start to prepare for the Winter Olympics, that 100 days to go? Does it mean anything at this stage? I remember being aware of the 100 days to go only because Team GB um, had a real kind of social media hype about it. I, I kind of didn't have it on my radar. I had the season before the Winter Olympic season and then getting into the winter season itself. So the 100 days to go sort of took me aback because you think, oh, you know, it's in soon into, you know, double digits. It's coming quite quickly. And it took me a while to actually sort of make myself take a breather and have a moment and think, well, 100 days, although it sounds like not a lot when you're thinking, when you're planning four years in advance for your next Olympics or first Olympics. But in 100 days, you know, I'm going to get ill. I'm going to catch colds. I'm probably going to have an injury. And it's likely that I'm going to have some good results and some bad results, you know, because it's such a long stretch of time. So it, it kind of caught me off guard initially and then once I sort of settled into thinking it's all right it's not one day to go you know there's time just relax and also it prompted me to think wow I have come so far over these years and months and months and weeks and days of training every single training session is hard work um, and to think oh, I've only got <laughs> I've only got 100 days